Hello and welcome back to Crazy Rose Studio. In this video, we will be looking at how to configure a block based backup for a Windows client and then restore a block based backup to the same client. <laughs> Configuration of a block based backup for a Windows server is pretty simple. It is straightforward and is similar to how a normal file system backup configuration is done, but just with an additional configuration on the block based backup itself. First, let's take a look at the client. So, on the client, we have the networker client installed and also the networker extended client binaries installed. So, this is the basic requirement that needs to be in place before you want to do a block based backup for a windows machine now let's quickly switch over to the nmc and i already have a group and workflow configured for a block based backup again this is going to be a simple traditional backup configuration and let's go ahead and configure the windows client for a block based backup so right click and select new client wizard put in the name of the client itself so it's going to be a type traditional uh, we have the group that we wanted to want to add the uh, the particular client into click on next so we have file system and uh, no module installed there so next here as well you can change this configuration as you want but the main configuration for the block based backup is that you have to enable block based backup for this particular client and also make sure that the client direct which is by default enabled is always enabled as well you can click on next now select the save sets remember that you will not be able to back up individual files and folders so you have to either select an entire disk or uh, entire partition for this backup so in our case we have only two partitions uh, one is disaster underscore recovery and the other is the c drive itself let's go ahead and click next on that and here's the summary of what we have selected the client backup type and the block based backup and client direct to be true we're going to click on create and there we have it the client is now created let's go ahead and uh, quickly run a backup for this particular client we can go ahead and say start individual client click on start and that's how basically you that is how you create a client configuration for a block based backup so other than the basic configuration you can also configure uh, the parallel save streams per save set on the block based backup so you can do that by going into your client properties going, going into globals one of two and enabling the parallel save streams so if you have a large disk or a file system then you can also make uh, use of the parallel save streams to faster make your backups a little more faster so you can click on OK there. So the backup is already running. So I'm just going to give it a few minutes. So this is actually a second run for this particular client. So it should be fairly faster. I'm going to pause the video here, here and I'll come back once the backup is completed. All right. So if you see here, we have 13 gigs of data backed up in just about two minutes. So now let's take a look at uh, the uh, recovery process for block based backup. So again, the recovery process is very similar to how you do the rest of the uh, file system restore for a normal backup. So you just click on the recover tab, create a new recover resource, uh, select traditional network client recovery, then click on next. Let's go ahead and select the client name, which is win one we have all the configuration set up so select a destination server if it is the same or some other server so i'm going to select the same server for this test 
next I'm going to so there are two options or two backups that I've done if you look at the uh, number found against the type of backup so block based backup there are two copies and file system there is just one copy so I'm going to select the uh, <coughs> so I'm going to select the block based backup for this restore click on next so again I have two options here one is a image level recovery and the other is a file level recovery so an image rec level recovery is uh, nothing but recovering the entire partition or volume or mount point uh, and file level restore is wherein you are able to do granular level restore of the respective uh, uh, system so here what is going to happen is that it is going to mount this particular backup on the respective client so that it can go and browse the files that are within that particular system so that uh, networker can go and browse inside the particular uh, backup or uh, it has created as a VHD on the data domain so basically that VHD is mounted and we will be able to read the contents of that particular file system or backup so when this happens you can actually go to the network server and I'm sorry you can actually go to the Windows client uh, to whom this particular backup belongs and where the destination has been selected as the target for the restore you will see an additional uh, disk being attached automatically and if you take a look at this the disk is very similar to the C drive because this is nothing but the backup of the C drive that has been mounted on this particular system you can actually go ahead and browse this as well so let me show you the C drive first perf program files users windows on and if you go and look at this it is just the copy of the same drive mounted for the restore so let's go back and uh, for this demo I'm just going to select something from administrator download let me select this file and then we'll click on next original path and new path I'm just going to go with a new path since the original path would override the file that is already existing so let's go ahead and quickly do this and I'm going to copy it into documents so documents and you say ok so do you want to overwrite or this is again how you handle the duplicate uh, file if a duplicate uh, file already exists in that location so you can select the appropriate options there and then click on next here is a summary let's call this BB win recovery demo so you can schedule it or run it right now you can persist uh, this until the user deletes it but I'm gonna keep it until the job database retention here is the summary of what we are going to do the client is this the destination is client is the same the recovery type is block based backup block uh, backup type is file level recovery not image level recovery and the selected file is this and the location to restore is this I'm gonna click and on run recovery and say yes so as you can see the recovery has begun so all it needs to do is actually just copy the file over to the destination because the uh, VHD or the backup is already mounted on that particular system and there you have it the recovery is complete it's doing a cleanup which means that it is unmounting that particular backup click on finish let's switch on to that particular machine and now if you see there is no more an e drive here which was earlier present since as you saw in the log that it has cleaned up all the mount point and if we quickly go into documents okay 
so go to C user administrator documents yeah. so it will actually create the entire folder structure so it is the C drive uh, this was under users administrator downloads oh this is not the one which I recovered I recover documents and settings administrator and this is the file that I restored so this is how you do a recovery of this is how you configure a Windows machine for a block based backup and do a recovery of the file with that particular block based backup Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, share it with our community in the comment section below, or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.